Hey guys, it's Jay, Monday guy here. I'm talking about binders, which is awesome because I have my binder right here. I'm wearing one, I'm wearing an old one that wore out like after a year or two. Um, I'll get into that later though. So this is my newest one, which I bought like a year ago. So it's still really nice durable i got this from underworks i think it was like the tri top one but my torso isn't really that long so what i do is i fold it up see fold it up kind of like that almost looks like a sports bra but yeah um i don't remember how much it costs i really want to say it was like 69 dollars <laughs> This one is like white colored and look, it's pretty gross looking, but I wore it while running cross country, which is probably a bad idea because breathing, I still ran pretty well though, I guess. The material got really stretchy, so now it's a lot easier to put on for me, but my chest is relatively small as it is. I know a lot of other people like have bigger chests and they prefer different binders, but um, I'm putting this out there like I had like a A cup or like A almost B cup type thing. <laughs> so it's relatively flat. I like to see that it makes it look like I have pecs, but in reality, I wish I did. Okay, so. I used to use this before I had a binder. Um, this isn't even actually like meant for binding your chest at all. Um, this was my mom's. And I <laughs> basically snuck around, stole it from her because this used to be like for um, stomach. So she used to like bind her stomach, you know, but I use it up here. And yeah, do not recommend this at all for obvious reasons it's definitely not like meant for the chest or anything okay guys i'm gonna go probably fall back asleep so yeah bye